Hey, what's the toughest temptation you faced yesterday? <laughs> That's a question that everyone will have an answer to. Because we all face temptations. Lots of them. Every day. So there's a key to overcoming them. You want to know what it is? Before we jump into that topic, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. I'm glad you decided to drop by today. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew, and then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and then share this with a friend. Well, temptations can be tough and tricky. <laughs> Jesus wasn't kidding when he told his disciples, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Boy, <laughs> he hit that nail on the head. So how do we get to the place where we're getting consistent victory over the things that tempt us? Well, today's verse is a good place to begin. It says, God is faithful and he will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. Now that's good news because it means you'll never face a temptation that you can't win. Every one of them is defeated before it ever gets to you. We just need to recognize them for what they are and fight them properly. Alligator snapping turtles are the largest freshwater turtles in the world. These, these are massive beasts, often weighing over 200 pounds. Now they hunt by lying still on the bottom of a lake or river with their mouth wide open because the end of its tongue looks like a small pink worm. The turtle wiggles its tongue so it looks like a, a worm moving through the water, tempting fish to grab a quick meal. <laughs> when a fish comes to eat the worm, it snaps its jaws closed. End of temptation. Our temptations always come disguised as something desirable too. They may even appear harmless. They always begin in our mind which is the first battleground. Now we can dismiss temptations and push them away. I mean, that's what we do with most temptations the enemy throws at us. I mean, thoughts so absurd as to be ridiculous. But what about the ones that, that strike a chord within us? The temptations that hit us in a point of weakness. How do we deal with the ones that we just can't shake off? Well, when you can't get the temptation out of you, then you need to get out of the place of temptation because God is faithful. He'll not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. But that verse continues on to say, but with the temptation, he'll also provide a way of escape. Sometimes we need to escape. You know, not long ago, I was having lunch with two bishops. A woman wearing no underwear sat at the table directly across from me and spread her legs. I mean, I, I tried not looking. I tried averting my gaze and focusing on the person I was speaking to. I tried lots of things. Problem is, none of them were working. I needed to escape. So I asked one of the other bishops to swap seats with me. I mean, I figured he was way more holy than I am, and he probably wouldn't even notice. <laughs> well, that hope was dispelled in about four seconds. We all ended up having to leave the restaurant. We needed to escape. So we did. Now, you and I are not so very different. Both of us are tempted when we're lured and enticed by our own desires then desire, when it's conceived, gives birth to sin. And sin, when it's fully grown, gives birth to death and destruction. Don't miss the word lure in what I just said. We're all lured by our own desires. And that word lure is a key one. If you're a fisherman or a hunter, you understand what a lure is. It's a trap. And it only has one purpose. And when you take the lure, 
you always lose. Adam and Eve took a piece of fruit. The enemy took paradise. Whenever you're facing a temptation, consider what you're trading. Don't consider what the enemy is offering. He's a liar. Look at what you have to lose. Because no matter what the enemy says he'll give you, it's never a good deal. Thankfully, God is faithful. He always gives us what we need to overcome temptation. He gives us his word, a weapon we can use to fight. He'll establish you and guard you against the evil one. He'll teach you to pray so you can have the strength you need to resist. If you've already yielded ground, you may need help to take it back. So ask someone you trust to help you fight the battle. Two are stronger than one. Always. The keys to overcoming temptation are three gets. Get it out of you. Get out of temptation. Escape. And finally, get together with someone who can help you fight and win. God is faithful. He'll not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. Well, that's it for today. But before you go, can I ask you to help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him personally and better? Please like this video. Help more people see it. And follow or subscribe so you can get together with me every day. There's a button right over here over my shoulder. If you've got a question about overcoming temptation, drop it in the comments section. And one more thing. Share this with a friend, would you please?